Catholic. But you can go. Yeah, they'll, sure. they'll let you in. I'm sure. <laughs> That's odd. Uh, Ash Wednesday and Valentine's Day. Does yeah. that happen, what, every once in a while? Yeah, you know, this, uh, and, you know, and, and Catholics, you minimize your meals today, right? Have one meal. Yeah. And it's supposed to be a very kind of quiet meal and nothing big. Don't go out and have a steak, right. you know? So I can't take my wife out. <laughs> no, it works all around. It works all around. Go ahead, guys. How much fun are you having with this team being so revived and good and all that stuff? Uh, yeah, it's good. You know, I think I think the one thing you, you, you enjoy is uh, kids working hard to win matches. You know, I mean, I, I don't have a team that's going to go out and get five or six tech falls, you know, beat someone 15 to zero. I got a team that's going to have to win by one, two points. And, uh, you look at some of the overtimes that we've had over the course of the, the season, and that's really lopsided towards us winning the overtimes. You know, gut, you know, being gutty, it's a gutty performance. And that's eight what two. makes it. Yeah. Eight to two in overtime. Yeah, I mean, that's what makes it. I think it's higher than that. I think eight and two in dual meets, but dual meets, tournaments right. and stuff like right. that. Yeah, Something, somewhere around fifteen. But anyway, th those are the exciting things that you get. You know, and it, uh, lights up the crowd, it lights up the people, and uh, I think in general, I, when you got uh, four to five freshmen starting, just in general, you know, it's fun to watch. As a fan, it's fun to watch these kids find ways to win, and then it. You know, just comes back on us to, to, to remind them that uh, that's how we're going to have to win. Yeah. Tough I'm, matches, hard matches. I know it can be hard on a coach, but and we, we were able to ask Coleman about it after South Dakota State. But uh, Jordan Williams, I mean, every time he takes the mat, you just don't know what you're going to see. No, it's it's yeah, crazy. Uh, I think you know, it's just it's nice to see people grow. You know, I mean, sport, you know, it's not just about winning, it's also about developing yourself, you know, and I think for him over the course of the last six weeks, he's become a better person, uh, he's become much more disciplined, he's taken care of his academics, taken care of some past issues that he had, you know, that's what's exciting, you know, just seeing somebody grow and and while they grow, they, they have they build some confidence in themselves, and that's what we're seeing. We're seeing some, the kid is starting to really feel confident about what he's doing, who he is, and, uh, and again, who he wants to be. Has that helped him kind of solidify his spot there? Because there for a while you were kind of going back and forth a little more. Yeah, well, he's done a lot. Yeah, I'm not I'm not giving that spot to, up yet, but he's darn sure doing some things that really makes me feel uh, good about being his coach. I can't remember a duel this year. You started anywhere other than 125. Uh, we've, what, won, we've won, you know, remember that uh, if the coach wants to start at a different weight, you basically flip a coin. I think of our 13 matches at 13, right? Of 13 matches, uh, I think, We've won six flips, six really? or seven, yeah. And so the other seven, both both coaches agreed to start at 25. But 25 and 33, yeah. those, those have started to become rock solid starts for you. Yeah, well, don't. Don't, don't jinx it. No. no. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, I, 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 yeah, I did 41. Yeah. And, and then Jordan here of late, 49, and you're. you're you know, you're wrestling, you know, at Missouri and, and uh, your first four matches, your first five matches, you went five and oh. I mean, we've, we've had that happen on a number of occasions that allowed us to win dual meets. And remember, dual meets are, are they're, the, the, they're everything to wrestle. Right? I mean, uh, you know, it 
one of the disappointing things is that we have a dual meet season and at the end of the season we go to conference for two days and we go to nationals for three days and that really judges your season you know and, and somehow we need to continue to make these dual meets more important how, how can we carry over points with your performance during the course of three months right and instead of just five days but it's always been that way and and, and you know as good as we're wrestling right now we still uh, you know have to have to be very competitive at the end because that's 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 where we're judged and it should be that way you know and what should happen is they should change some things and you know the next two dual meets that we have we're going to have probably a lot of people at it you know and maybe one percent of all those people get to go to nationals you know when you take 18th you, know, you don't get very many tickets <laughs> and so th this is where wrestling grows is inside that that arena there where you build your new fans and where you have an opportunity to really, to really grow your, your fan base. How good of a tournament team do you think you'll be? I don't know. Right now, it's just, uh, I, I'll say this, there seems to be a lot more parity uh, across the country, but uh, you just can't get dive into, to, into that until you get over with your dual meets, you know, because really, uh, OU's got some quality people. Um, Iowa's got quality people, and that's how you get get a chance to have a great tournament is, is you position yourself with, with your rankings. So we'll be ranking a lot of people that are ranked ahead of us individually. You need to go win those and put yourself in a better position. Um, I will say that um, it's, it's, you know, it doesn't do much if you ranked 18, 19. And that says you go one and two at nationals, basically. You get your trip to tournament but it doesn't put you put you anywhere you know uh, that doesn't mean if we're if we're there we're going to lose that doesn't mean that it just means that hey position yourself in the top four and you don't wrestle with a ranked guy until third match that's how you win that's how you have a lot of success you get you know so um but really just focus a week at, at a time and stay, stay focused on the dual meet season because you can help yourself a lot, especially with the competition that uh, we've had. High school has some, has dual state. Would you like some sort of dual tournament? No, they just need to, we, we need to figure it out. You, know? you want to grow the sport, you're going to grow it by, by your fans and your events at home. I mean, football, I'm a big OSU football fan. I go to every game. I don't go to any away games. I don't. I don't get to go to the bowl. I got. I'm busy. I'm still a football fan. I become a football fan because of the excitement when you're watching them here, you know. And so, same same for wrestling, right? I mean, listen, the people that are excited about wrestling, the OSU wrestling right now, that are excited, it's because of what's happened inside there, and, and some on the road, you know, that they didn't get to see. You know, what Marshall asked about, I mean, you had that dual national championship tournament going for a while. Yeah. I don't know where it went, but John, I, I like that. Yeah, well, I mean, it's... Have a dual champ. Listen, uh, I, I fought for that for 15 years, and I, and I think, it, you know, the less I fight for it, the, the probably it happened. I mean, um, you know, it just sometimes change has been a little, a little tough in wrestling, but... All, all I'm saying is, is going back to what you asked, what's our tournament team look like, you know? And, and you, you just, you got two more big dual meets. I mean, you're, you're gonna get a chance. I mean, we could, we could finish up uh, with our dual season and, and um, go undefeated in the big 12. And when we go to Tulsa, be ranked third or fourth in the tournament. I mean, I don't know that, you know. Uh, if we help ourselves here, then uh, this is a this is a conference match this weekend. It's big. Got got about three or four big matches that are going to make the difference and maybe uh, giving us a, a little bit more of an edge to make a run at the Big 12 championship. How much 
does the idea you were just talking about with growing the sport and the importance of the matches you have in this place factor in as compared to just preparing your team for, for those last five days when you're making your schedule? Say it once again. How much do you think about growing the sport versus how much do you think about just preparing your team whenever you're putting your schedule together? Well, I think you always think about growing the sport. Here, that's, that's all I can do, you know. Um, I can't do something for uh, Rutgers or Maryland. I, I can do it for Oklahoma State. And, um, I think uh, you look at uh, who we wrestled, where we went, we're looking to bring those teams back to us in, in a dual meet at home. North Carolina State, Pat Papalizio, been top 10 several times in the last 10 years. And uh, there's a reason why we went out there, is to bring them back. Uh, Iowa and Oklahoma State have, have been on the schedules of each other since uh, the mid 70s. They don't have to wrestle with us. They, they've got everything they want in that big can of wrestling. You know? um, they choose to wrestle us because, one, we're a draw for them, and, and obviously they're a huge draw for us. You know, I get ahead of myself. we got OU, but uh, Bedlam, I'm, I'm pleased that we're going to continue with Bedlam in wrestling. That, I hope we continue a home to home event. I think it's both. It's good for both of us. And, uh, you know, it gives gives a lot of people an opportunity to go watch uh, wrestling, um, and normally a pretty exciting wrestling. What has uh, what have you seen from uh, from Luke Server, and how has he managed the difficulties of this season? You know, it's just been a rough season for him. You know, but sometimes you know it gives you a chance to reevaluate a lot of things, and, and I think for for me watching him kind of struggling here uh, and what I'm seeing is is uh, a guy that's probably at one of the most competitive weight classes listen everything's okay you know and once you get heal up and you get it you get injury free and, and you have an opportunity to compete just go compete you know and uh, for him he's got to compete it this way I mean, he's got he's got to I mean this is a you, you, you might not have a, a, an easy match in the, in the conference tournament. Nor if they, if they have you, is it going to be easy? You know, just be confident in learning how to win, and that's what he needs to do right now. Your team Learn how to win. The team was so new when you guys went down to Norman. How much? How big was that duel in terms of momentum to get where you guys are? Now? You know, uh, I mean, Bedlam is Bedlam, you know, you come off a win, you know, it, it, should, it should, they're not easy, you know, and uh, I know we've won a lot of them in, in a row, but uh, one, you just take them real serious, you know, that week is an important week of training, uh, it's, uh, there's a sense of pride in, in the state that you're, you're trying to keep a hold of. So, uh, does, is it a motivator? Did it move us forward? Yeah, definitely. You know, um, well, how, it'll be a competitive duel we have this week. I, I, you know, if you if you look at our matches and, and do a little comparison, you know, we won three matches against South Dakota State in overtime. You know, and, and they were pretty competitive. You know, and so. That's just who we are. That's how we're going to have to win right now. You know? Has the meaning of Bedlam evolved at all for you over the years? Once again? Has the, the meaning of Bedlam evolved at all for you over the years? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, try losing one. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah, it's meaning. Yeah, I mean, it's a... You know, I've, I've been around Bedlam since... Uh, Nine years old, first bedlam was right here. Come and watched it, uh, and you know, as, as many of you know, a lot of you are not my age, but you've been to a lot of them. I mean, there's uh, 
it's it's always been good. There's something about it that just, as as we know in, in all sports, that Bedlam has been important for the state. And I, I'm just really pleased, looking forward to the future that I get to watch it someday. You know, when I'm done coaching. You know, and so uh, great duel, me, great history. Bedlam, I believe, started with wrestling. Right? It did. Yeah, the terminal. The term, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. the I, think, I think, I think uh, some reporter wrote it was Bedlam and Gallagher, or it might have been at OU, I don't know. No, it was here. It was here. Yeah. Anything else to coach? How long? When are you going to do that? When are you going to start being a spectator? How long, oh, how long I do you know. want to keep coaching? It's, I mean, I'm working up there. You've been I, a coach for yeah. 32 years for Colonel. That's a long time. It's amazing that, yeah. This you know, I don't. Me yesterday when he was going to retire. Uh, yeah, he never well, tells them anything. I, know, I just, it's not part of the season. Right. You don't want anything to be a part of the season. Yeah. For now, I, I, I don't have, I have every intentions to coach this team up and have a great season. I think when you, when you when you get where I'm at, I don't I don't think you look any further than that. I think it's, there's too much energy that needs to go into the thought of how you're going to you know not take 18th again, not take 13th again. Our last two years, uh, eliminate all the, the, uh, the crap that we've dealt with in the last two years. Make sure that that is removed out and, and, and away from your team. So I just you don't really think of what you want to do as a coach. And, you got enough to, to do to clean things up and put a respectable team out on the mat and be competitive like we're used to. Does this team have your juices throwing more? You talk about that grit. The I think so. And all yeah, that. absolutely. I mean, it's been a, been a, you know, I mean, it's been a great year of excitement. I mean, you know, when you got kids that are wrestling hard and, and, and fighting uh, for their team. Uh, it is. It's. It's. Yeah. Yeah. It's great. You know. And I've had these years. You know. I've had. I think I've had a lot more of them than than I haven't. But uh, you know, when you kind of uh, sidetrack for two years, uh, yeah, it's a hell of a lot better. Yeah, I miss it. You know. Um, yeah. It's. It's been. A, it's been a fun ride up to this point. And, continue to just stay focused and keep these guys excited about what they're doing. These guys work hard. We've had probably uh, a group of wrestlers that train harder than any I've had. And so success comes from that. Ever? Train ever, harder than ever. ever. That's pretty high standard. Yeah. yeah. You know, I'm not talking about one individual, but as a team, yeah, I think they've, they've come together, no complaining. 7 a.m. workouts all season long, 3 o'clock workouts, uh, you know, uh, and just just not a lot of complaining, a lot of a lot of energy in, in the room, and, and, and I think the energy comes from some of our older guys, uh, Dave Fix, uh, Isaac, Plot, um, and a few of the guys that we all recognize as some of the hardest trainers in the room are not making the team, and they got a, they got a, a level of commitment every day. It's pretty impressive. That's that's who you want your daughter to marry. That guy that never gets to wrestle, but he comes to work every day. And he's trying to help someone else get better. My cousin's a big OSU fan. He called me this morning. He found out that's coming up. He wanted me to ask you. Coleman Scott's impact on being in the room this year? Well, you know, you, you take a guy that uh, is at uh, head coach nine years, uh, tough place, tough place, North, North Carolina. I mean, and you know what I mean by that, you know. Uh, get shuffled, and maybe in sometimes not even noticed anywhere. Um, and trying to build a program, uh, you experience a lot of things that we don't go through. 
and, and those are the things that he brought here.